Hey everybody, this is Kristen Booker, beauty editor for Hollywood Life. How are you? So today we're actually going to do a really cool little video called From Red Carpet to Real Life. So last night's Golden Globes was an amazing celebration of beauty and fashion and a real return to Hollywood glamour. And I brought celebrity makeup artist Lori Hamlin in to work on our very own Chloe Malas and, and, and translate one of these beautiful, um, beautiful makeup looks that we saw last night that we saw on Mila Jovovich and Mila Kunis and Halle Berry, kind of a defined eye with kind of a nudish lip. So how did you translate that to our Chloe? Well, one of my favorite looks for the red carpet, which as Kristen said, you saw in quite a few celebrities, is a dramatic eye and a light lip. This is um, a really popular look. It works because the eyes aren't fighting with the lips. So when you look at Chloe, you really notice her eyes pop. Beautiful. So what products did you use on her to get this gorgeous look? Well, so on Halle Berry, for instance, she had this look, but she had more of a smoky eye. She used charcoals and grays. So what I wanted to show you, all of Hollywood Life's BFFs, is how to take this look um, using using more neutrals. So, um, the difference is with a, with a pencil, pencils are great, but they tend to sometimes look a little thick on the lid. Mm -hmm. And with this look, you really just want to open up the eye. So I used an eyeliner brush. And what I did is I just pressed and wiggled along the lash line, which when she opens up, it really just, you don't see the eyeliner, you really just notice her pretty green eye. Then I took one simple bronze shadow, which you would replace um, your charcoal with for this look, really simple, all over the whole entire lid. And you wanna kinda of blend it up right into the brow bone. You kinda of wanna fade, fade right up into it so it fades to nothing. I've also added some um, false eyelashes, which to me, no red carpet look is, is final without a touch of uh, false eyelashes. Oh yeah. Um, they really uh, make any eye sparkle, and I think every girl should try them at least once. What we've used here is we've used some individual lashes, and the trick for applying individual lashes um, is you, you apply mascara first, and then what I do is I just drop the eyelashes in right on top of the mascara lash. Well, so we've obviously already did a little sheer foundation. Chloe has really pretty skin. And you just gotta remember, your makeup only looks as good as your skin looks. So you really wanna moisturize well, take off your makeup at night when you sleep. But what we did here, we did a really uh, soft foundation just to even out her skin tone. And then another reason why this look works is because the lips and cheeks are the same color family. Um, I think when you do this look, if you wear nude on the lips, you want to wear nude on the cheek. If you wear pink on the lips, you want to wear pink on the cheek. That's another reason why this uh, look works. So what I did is I, I used a lip liner, I lined her lip, really lightly I filled it in. Because again, if you fill in your lip with, eye with lip liner, it really keeps the lip um, color on a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, and then my favorite product is a cream blush. This is another thing like eyelashes that I think a lot of people get intimidated by. Mm -hmm. um, I think a, a mistake with powder blush is you tend to get too much or not know where to actually put it. So by taking a cream blush, if you just, just give a little smile, and if you just kind of start the apple of the cheek, and again, you want to blend it back into the hairline. And I think with a cream blush, you really have more control, and don't be afraid to try a vibrant color. I think Chloe has such pretty eyes that I think it really they really sparkle by keeping the lips more nude. So I use a really neutral lip liner. And again, you can take just a lipstick or you can add a little bit of lip gloss. Um, Chloe's young and pretty and fun, so I just took a little bit of the Lip Fusion lip gloss. And again, I think you have a little more control if you do it with the lip brush. And that really just tops off her look. But again, it works because the eyes, everything is balanced. Nothing is fighting with each other. They're not competing. So have you seen your face yet? I have not. Okay. Well, we're going to show you your look. Ready? Ta -da. <gasps> I love it. Oh, wow. So pretty. It's very <laughs> Thank pretty. You. Thank but, you so much. And that wasn't scripted. scripted. <laughs> this is not scripted. No, no, this is scripted. Um, so... Um, we took we took a really great makeup look from the red carpet to reality. So I know you're getting ready to go do TV, but you may actually be date night ready now. I just very well might be. Very so, nice. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're gonna have some more makeup tips coming from the red carpet. Stay beautiful, BFFs. Bye. Bye.